No one knows for sure why a hospital cleaning lady named Harriet Cole decided to donate her body to science, but her amazing contribution, her nervous system, lives on to this day. French neurologist Guillaume Benjamin Amand Duchesne, Wright carries out an experiment in electrophysiology by triggering a subject's muscles with electrical probes in order to produce a given facial expression, circa mid-19th century. A woman tests a stroller intended to be resistant to gas attacks in Hextable, England in 1938, not long before the outbreak of World War II. A picnic at Los Angeles, California Alligator Farm, where patrons were allowed to mingle freely among trained alligators from 1907 to 1953. Hitler had this photo and several others banned because, in his opinion, they undermined his dignity. The photos surfaced again after an Allied soldier found copies of them in a German house in 1945. Members of the Young Pioneers, a Soviet government youth group, donned gas masks as part of an attack preparation drill in the Leningrad area in 1937. During a time when alarm clocks were expensive and unreliable, a knocker upper was often hired by British people to wake them up in alternative ways. One of the largest horses in history, Brooklyn Supreme stood 6 feet 6 inches and weighed in at 3,200 pounds during the 1930s. The Cyclomer, an amphibious bicycle that never caught on following its introduction in Paris in 1932. Las Vegas in 1955, before glitz and glam became a common sight. That year, Life magazine accurately predicted that the city was set for its biggest boom. In 1917, 16-year-old Elsie Wright and her 9-year-old cousin Frances Griffiths took photos with the Cottingley Fairies in the village of Cottingley near Bingley in West Yorkshire. One of the greatest hoaxes of the 20th century, they only admitted the photos were faked in 1983. Thanks to heavy fog, the steamship Princess May ran aground in Alaska in 1910. The ship was carrying almost 150 people, but thankfully no one was hurt. Robert McGee was left permanently scarred after surviving a scalping at the hands of the Sioux tribe in 1864, when he was just a 13-year-old orphan. Spectators watch a horse diving act at an unspecified location, perhaps Pueblo, Colorado, on July 4, 1905. Hundreds of young women who worked in watch factories throughout the 1920s were exposed to so much radium that they came home glowing in the dark. Participants in the beautiful leg contest wear pillowcases over their heads so that the judges can see only their legs. Palisades Amusement Park, New Jersey. 1951. President Lyndon B. Johnson drives his Amphicar on April 10, 1965. Women wear plastic headgear intended to protect themselves from snowstorms in Montreal, 1939. In 1961, Soviet doctor Leonid Rogozov was stationed at a Russian base in Antarctica when he realized that he had acute appendicitis, and he was the only physician there. A woman of the Democratic Republic of the Congo's Mangbetu tribe holds her child. Much of Boston's North End lies in ruin following the Great Molasses Flood of January 15, 1919. A molasses storage tank broke apart, releasing as much as 2.3 million gallons into the streets at 35 miles per hour, ultimately killing 21 and injuring 150. Olive Oatman was born a Mormon, but after her family was slaughtered by Native Americans, she became Och, a Mojave tribes woman in the mid-19th century. Although she later re-entered Western society, she spent much of her adolescent life in the Native American tribe. The German airship Hindenburg, swastikas and all, flies over New York City on the afternoon of May 6, 1937, a few hours before its historic, fiery crash in Manchester Township, New Jersey. A U.S. Navy plane travels through a flow-induced vaporization off the coast of South Korea on July 7, 1999. This phenomenon occurs when planes of a certain shape travel through humid air, causing abrupt air temperature and pressure variations that create the kinds of oddly shaped vapor clouds seen above. Japanese Emperor Hirohito inspects his military's acoustic aircraft locators, used to detect planes by the sounds of their engines in the days before radar, sometime prior to the end of World War II. Enos the chimpanzee lies in his fight couch before being inserted into NASA's Mercury Atlas V space capsule, in which he would become the first primate to orbit the Earth on November 29, 1961.
Jakob Nacken, the tallest Nazi soldier ever at 7 feet 3 inches, speaks with 5 feet 3 inches Canadian Corporal Bob Roberts after surrendering to him near Calais, France in September 1944. Cyclists smoke cigarettes while competing in the 1927 Tour de France. A man wears the Brewster body shield, the first body armor developed by the US during World War I. This chrome nickel steel suit could weigh as much as 40 pounds and indeed stop some bullets. An enormous octopus balloon rises from the ground at the Barrage Balloon Training Center of Tennessee's Camp Tyson, circa World War II. Serbian scientist Nikola Tesla sits near his magnifying transmitter, an advanced version of the famed Tesla coil that he used for the wireless transmission of electrical energy, in his Colorado Springs Laboratory, 1899. Jonathan the tortoise in St. Helena in March 2020. The oldest known living terrestrial animal in the world, Jonathan was hatched circa 1832 and is now about 187 or 188 years old. A pile of American bison skulls sits at an unspecified location, waiting to be ground down into fertilizer, circa mid-1870s.